so it's mid-September and this is the first time this autumn that I'm outdoors with my camera. I've been sick for the past two weekends. Very, very frustrating. <laughs> oh, but finally I'm feeling well and I can be on location and do what I love most. Landscape photography, wildlife photography, just to enjoy the outdoors. And it's such a such a lovely autumn day. And it's only let's say three hours until sunset. And I'm actually here for the northern lights. It's a clear blue sky, really good conditions for northern lights. So at first I'm just gonna be here at this beach and uh, try and reconnect with nature again. <laughs> And hopefully we'll see some northern lights later tonight. So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this is gonna be a exciting evening. <laughs> there wasn't that much going on on that beach, so I've changed location. And you might remember this location from my most recent upload. <laughs> I was here and it was really windy, a lot of rain, big waves on the sea and uh, yeah I had a really difficult time taking pictures. <laughs> but today it's completely different and uh, this is a great location for looking for uh, northern lights. So I'm gonna climb this hill and I got a really nice view from up there for almost a 360 degrees around me. So yeah let's get up there. This is a really nice spot to just wait for the sunset and for it to be dark, which is maybe in, oh, up to three hours, so a lot of waiting, but so nice to be outdoors and just relax. And who knows, maybe i find a picture here. I found a decent composition just to start things off. So I got my Nikon Z7 with a 70 to 200 zoom lens. And uh, the composition is just down there with those rocks that stretch out to sea. Really nice texture in this light. And um, I'm gonna take this in black and white and with a really long exposure. I also have a, have a 10 stop ND filter. So this is just gonna be a really simple image to start things off.
All right, sun has set, so it's gonna get dark and cold pretty soon. And last time I was here, I wasn't really prepared for bad weather. And it's not like it's bad weather right now, but I need warmer clothes. <laughs> Layers. That's the best way to keep warm. Also got some flashlights and a head torch. Might as well get ready. And I also got a pair of new heated gloves. This is really essential for me for, for outdoor activities when it gets cold. Heated gloves. I bought a new pair. These are waterproof. It must be something with genetics. I get really cold hands when I'm, when I'm out, even though it's not sub-zero sub <laughs> temperature. All right, now we wait for the, the dark. Ah, the first surprise of the evening, a moonrise. It's almost a full moon as well, so it's really beautiful. I really didn't ex expect this, so this was a really nice surprise. And fingers crossed, this is going to be a really nice evening and night with some beautiful northern lights as well. It's not pitch dark just yet, but I can see some, some stars. I can see the brightest stars already. So that's nice. So I guess just have to wait a little bit longer. And what about the northern lights? Well, I stood there for two hours after dark and the only thing I saw was this faint light in the left of the image. The soft light on the landscape came from the moon. Thank you all for watching. I see you in the next one. Bye bye.